they told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Hello everyone, welcome to my playthrough of Bioshock, and yeah, um, it's been a very, very long time, and you'll have to excuse my voice for a little bit, I'm a little sick as I'm recording this, but yeah, it's been probably more than 10 months since I last uploaded something, and I decided to get back into the swing of things with Bioshock 1, since, um, the remastered collection came out a couple months ago, it's still pretty relevant, but would you look at these graphics? Just beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm back, and if anyone is familiar with any of my past videos, I've never been one to do the voiceover commentary. Instead, mostly because of the fact that I'm not a very talkative person. Per se, <laughs> but I wanted to revamp the channel and revamp the videos. So in an attempt to do that, I'm going to attempt to talk about stuff <gasps> and things, mostly stuff. But as we make our way up towards this big, impeding—not the word I'm looking for—but this big lighthouse inside. Door's gonna close behind us, lights are gonna flick on. Alright, let's make our way down to the bathosphere and begin our adventure in the City of Rapture. No, this is not the first time that I've played this game. I mean, most people have, I believe, played this game and found it to be a great game. Um, let's just pull the lever begin our journey. Um, no, so yeah, as I was saying, this is not the first time I played this game. I just decided to dive back into it with the recent release of the new um, remastered collection. And this is not going to be a complete playthrough in the sense of 100%ing it, but I'm going to let Andrew Ryan talk really quick. not entitled to the sweat of his brow. No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose Rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture can become your city. Well, there you go. Welcome back to Rapture. Back to whatever. Um, but I should probably rephrase what I was saying earlier. This is intended to be a complete playthrough in the sense that I'm playing the whole game. <coughs> I more meant it on along the lines of, uh, I'm not gonna 100% it. Not that there's a lot of that to be done in a Bioshock game, or at least in Bioshock 1, other than the audio tapes. I don't plan on going out of my way to find the audio tapes, um, or all the hidden tonics and plasmids that are just spread around randomly, but other than that, yes, 100%. Woo! 
and now we ascend our way on up wait for these loading screens I've, it's been so long since I played this game that I forgot that it had all these loading screens in between areas and stuff which I don't know whatever fine I'm rambling that's one thing I tend to do whenever I try to do voiceover commentaries is that I ramble a lot and <coughs> I don't know to you but to me my voice sounds rather scratchy hope it's not degrading or anything glimpse at the inside of Rapture and the chaos that has befallen it. Oh well, how can't you trust this big, lovable Irish voice, huh? Um, yeah. So I realize this is very dark. I hope it's not too dark for you guys to see. Wow, very dark. Hello? Just a bit further. Wonder if he's still got some Adam. Look, 
magic goggles? It's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute. He's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. So, in case you haven't noticed by now, I'm very big into cutscenes and very big into like narration and voiceovers and stuff. So I'm going to try my best not to talk through like cutscenes and narration and stuff. Yeah. Just rephrasing the same thing twice, sure. But let's jump to this convenient set piece of a crashed airplane. Yeah. Who would have thought the crashed airplane that we were in would have came through the same exact tunnel we have to be crossing through? Coincidence? I think not. Alright, which way do I want to go? Let's go check out around here for the Vita Chamber. Alright. I need all. Yeah. Oh, hello. The one two punch. Any more? Hello? More Eve. Alright, cool. Corpse. First aid kit. No drinky drink. Cigarettes. Potato chips. Leave oh, how about, how about the one two punch? There you go. Fancy. Again, like I said earlier, this is on easy because I felt like being very, very casual about this this time through. And, yeah, oh, hello. So, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of health packs, a lot of Eve, needles, uh, a lot of ammo. You know, sue me. I want it to play easy. Fine. Alright. Hmm. Don't think there's anything else here, so let's head up to the one functional elevator. See what's going on up here. Such a sad little predicament Atlas seems to have gotten himself into, huh? Well, I'm sorry. I guess I appear to be the only one that can solve anyone's problems ever. Alright. Whoa! Uh, choppy frames just a little bit? Alright, hopefully that's not Hopefully that frame thing is not something that occurs a lot, because that would be annoying. Um, hopefully I'll have it fixed by next episode or something. Alright, what do we got going on here? Um, sketchy bathroom. Hallucinations. Fantastic. Audio tape. Nothing really of interest. Hi, it's Mac. Got anything? Oh, more health packs. Great. Probably should have played on normal. Now that I think about it. Whatever. Those little sisters, they carry Adam, the 
is all I can say to that. Alright, head on this way. Um, I had a chamber. Anything of interest in here? Some ammo. Mm, seems about it. Uh, da, da, da. I'm crying. Hi. Oh, you're a little more resilient. Ammo. Cool. Uh, hello? Hi. Smack. I don't even think the first time I played this game I needed to be told that electricity and water tend to not mix very well. Yeah, money. Nothing. Ooh. More money. Alright, cool. Let's hop on down. Um, bathroom? Do I want to check out the bathroom? I mean, I might as well. Uh, health. Um. Yeah, alright, that's it. Cool. This way, blocked off. Alright, let's head towards here. I know this is a trap, so. Ta da! The power of hindsight. Probably the easiest splicer swarm in the game. Zap a few of them in water. You know, rinse and repeat. That's how I like my game. Not really, that's sarcasm. And more of you. Come on. Come on. Zap. Alright, let's head to medical then. If you insist. Anything of interest down here? It's blocked off. Sweet. Alright, uh, and we're blocked off. Time now, Atlas. I'd rather not have to face them. Anytime. Don't mind if I do. And with our narrow escape, we make it into the medical pavilion. Which, yeah, fun stuff happens here. I guess in, in an effort to not make this video too long, and being that this is a very good stopping point, I think we're going to call it here, folks. I'll catch you guys next time with more Bioshock. See you later.